Buongiorno a tutti. We welcome to our waiting room. Actually, I'm wait for <laughs> Filippo Bartolotta. Otherwise, this oh, wouldn't be a waiting welcome, room. Welcome, Filippo Bartolotta. Oh, I actually was forgetting the most important thing of our dinner in 15. Ciao, Sara. We have an Amarone today, so I hope you're preparing something that is structured, luscious, intense, like a duck breast. Stay with us. Once again, with Sara Lai. Ciao. And Filippo Bartolotta. <laughs> I'm here as well. Um, once again, I like to remind everyone that this is Dinner in 15, so we are preparing Dinner in 15 minutes. Uh, one sequence only. There is no cut and paste in this program, so what you see is real TV. Is what we, you get. Is what you get. If we make mistakes, you'll see mistakes. We're gonna pair a great wine like the Amarone Monteolmi of the Tedeschi family together with some duck breasts. Yes. Okay, start. With ar aromatic herbs. So I have my scissor. Okay. To what are you cutting? What are you chopping? Sage, est estragon. Mad, uh, Santoreggia. Santoreggia. I don't know in English. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Uh, sage. Uh, two different kinds of sage. Okay. This lemon one and this pineapple one. All right. Let's, let's but try. But it's not so pineapple-y, but I just a little bit. And bay leaves. Okay. I like the lemon. And we will put on the side, a fantastic little pears cooked with some butter. All right. So basically, while you start chopping there, yes. uh, what happens here is this. I've started to uh, work a lot with uh, aromatic herbs as well when I'm at home uh, because they add up uh, saltiness, flavors, mm -hmm. antioxidants. They're good for a lot of things. I read yes. that rosemary, for instance, is good for your memory. Uh, what? <laughs> About. Yeah, for the cir <laughs> circulation. Circulation. For cel in cellulites. Uh, Cellulite. So, si. a lo a lo above all, like when you roast things, all of this stuff counterbalance the cancerogenic elements that sometimes you. A above all, when you do barbecue and stuff like that, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so so you're you're preparing the herbs, and yes. what about the duck? I mean, we're already like two minutes on. Are you sure that we, we have enough time to do this today? Yes, because um, you must cook, you must eat the duck breast, mm -hmm. not well done. Okay, so we'll see when you get there. It has to be a little bit al sangue, not okay. as the Florentine steak, of course. It, okay. it will be too rare, but medium cook, cool. I, I will say. So you're you're preparing all the herbs so, and we yeah, get the, the wine ready. The rosmarino. And on the side I will start to cook some little pears. Okay. Shall I start the both of them or just this? No, just this. Thank you very much. That is hopefully. Sì, sì. Questo. Ok. And while you're preparing the pears, I'm opening the bottle of Amarone. Uh, at what stage are you in terms of uh, talking of the recipe? When do I have time to talk about the wine? Is it now or later? When do you prefer? No, it's okay. No? Sì. Allora, eyes on me, my friends. Amarone della Val Policella. Amaro means bitter. Amarone is the big bitter one, shall we say. Because this one was born as a mistake. It used to be Reciotto, a dessert red wine. 
But then in the 50s, but probably already like years and years ago, this wine uh, in Valpolicella, the Romans, 2,000 years ago, used to make wine already. Instead of being sweet, you know what happened? You remember fermentation, sugars, alcohol, two weeks, boom. But if the sugars stay there, okay, then you have sweet wine. What happens if you bottle the sweet wine, but, but all of a sudden, the yeast didn't die and they're gonna eat more of that sugar and then they're gonna do some racking and put it back in the bottle, you have an Amarone. All of a sudden, someone found a bottle of dry ricciotto. That's how Amarone was born. The great varieties are Corvina, Corvinone, Molinara, and Rondinella are the classical varieties. In a second, I'll tell you more about this wine. Uh, Monte Olmi is the crew, is the hill where these Amarones produce, and 2015 is the vintage. One last thing that you might see oh, is sorry. Classico, which means that the wine comes from the classic area of Valpolicella, and uh, Reserva. So the wine has to spend an extra year in the cellar before release. Now, I hope this Sarah didn't stain my beautiful waistcoat <laughs> or I'll be very, very upset. I did. Sorry. <laughs> you did? Mm, si, no, you didn't. Mm, no, you okay. didn't. Okay, so I smell beautiful butter over there. E qui c'è questo colore bellissimo. Black ink ruby, very dark color. Oh, this is like dark chocolate, gunflint. A little bit of a mm. fernet nose, like menthol. Um, um, tea tree oil. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you want some? <laughs> and si. and uh, black cherries. On the palate, the wine is sweet on the attack. A little bit of tannic structure, so it is like a smooth round velvet but at the same time boom structure and austerity is this dish gonna make it stay with us i love this aroma eight minutes 48 you carry on tell yeah. our friends what you're doing right now i'll be back in a second i'm preparing the seasoning for the duck breast so i'm chopping all the ar aromatic herbs two different kinds of sage rosemary estragon the Santoreggia, which I'm forgetting the, the name in English. I should eat more ro rosemary for the memories. And uh, on the side, I'm cooking the pear with some butter, one bay leaf, and a little bit of salt, and cook them slowly, slowly, slowly. So, in a moment, we are going to turn our frying pan very, very hot because we have to start to cook our duck breast, which is, it has to rest for a few minutes after the cooking. So the meat will be softer you know? and the blood, it will go all away. You know Santoreggia? What's Santoreggia? I went checking on my iPhone. Is savory. Ah, savory. What did I say? Savory. Ah, savory. Okay. Okay, Beautiful so. Beautiful aromas. This is our fantastic duck breast. Molto bene. Our pan. Just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just an idea, as we say in Tuscany. Un idea. You talking to me? No, <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, go for it then. So, we have to massage so our what, what duck breast. So, what if I, what if, because I like mar mar marinate things, what if I do this the night before? Of course, you Would should be do better? this the night before. Okay, you should do this the night before. Yeah, okay. don't put any salt. Because otherwise the juice is going to go out. Yes, but if, for example, you want to do some chicken breast, you oh, should wait. put some salt the night before. We need some of these, or otherwise the it's turkey. Be messy. Okay. So you start with the skin? Yes, we start with the skin because the skin has to become very, as to um, all the fat under the skin because the duck is very, very fat. All the fat, it has to melt. All right, otherwise, it, it will be, and, and edible. 
it it will be so very very like awesome. a, this for me is like a massive bead of dark and we're gonna make it see si. see si, of course look five six yes, minutes course, to go see si. well, yeah everything is seen of course see si. allora uh, let's go back to the wine by the way you have to try this man this, this got to be one of the greatest matching food and wine we've ever made it's true because the smell is already matching this amarone there's a drop Ding. i will put the cover and it has to cook for a few minutes for five minutes and then it has to rest for two minutes wow thank you so you know how do you see like this dark chocolate and then the prunes See? going with that dark wow. i just can't wait fantastic now you said five minutes plus two minutes fantastic. so this time it's not gonna rest mm. maybe mm. but we'll see we'll see um i want to check oh my gosh okay as you can see our skin is coming brown and crunchy and all the fat is melting We can turn it upside down and put a little bit of salt on top. Our pear are cooking. For a few minutes. Okay. How are you doing? There is a little bit over than three minutes. Si, si, si. And uh, the Amarone is opening up. Um, Corvina Corvinone, Rondinella, 30, 30, 30. And then there is some uh, Molinara, some Oseleta, some Dindarella. So a lot of indigenous varieties on this wine with a lot of beautiful big and smaller barrel aging. We are in the classic part of Valpolicella. You know how Valpolicella has got 13 different valleys. The classic Valpolicella is like this. Five. Five valleys, like the palm of your hand, and that's the classica, closer to Lake Garda. You know that if Lake Garda weren't uh, there in Valpolicella, we would be like in the mountains. And instead, Garda acts as a big uh, sea, making that area a Mediterranean area. Okay, so I'm sure that the time it won't be enough, so... Oh my, oh my, oh my! As you can see, I it's feel like I need my phone to take pictures of what she's doing. You know what? This is too beautiful. I know we are live, but live on live. It's too raw. There you go. So you know what she's doing right now? It's too raw. So chop a little bit. That's yeah, what she's doing. If you don't tell, have time. Tell your friends, if you don't have time, you can't cook it, such a big piece of meat. Then you chop it. You do little steaks, right? And then just put in the frying pan. Very, and I have an idea. Hot. I hope she's going to say yes. Let's see. What is it? To put some wine? Si, certo. Okay, now let's do this then. Okay, this Bye. is the extra luscious. Amarone. Ooh la la. See what's happening? So all of that, where are we? Sarah, where are you? Wow. You guys there? <laughs> I love it. Wow, Buonissimo. you can really cook. Buonissimo. Let's do another extra extra luscious thing butter this is gonna be oh my god look at that like you're preparing a sort of a red sauce yes so, this is a very quick thing because you should take out the meat and pre prepare the sauce with oh. the butter but this is a quick recipe so so this is real all right, this is what's happening. We thought we were gonna be able to make 15 minutes that big breast. No, we didn't make it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It, it will be delicious as well. There we go. This time it's gonna be a little 
extra minutes with you guys, by that I know how much love you are sending over with all your follow, the social media. As a matter of fact, you know, if you want to get more of this, follow our social media, subscribe our channel, and for more tips, tricks, and love, stay with us. Stay with Sarah, stay with our duck, and our Amarone. Oh, look at the drop of Amarone. You know what's happening here? Amarone is crying oh. because he said, you just poured a little bit of myself in the frying pan. Uh, pizza done, voila. Okay. Questo possiamo spengerlo. Sì, we have oh, done. Bora have Bora done. is silent. And how do you decorate that dish? With the pears. Oh my gosh, I'm almost forgetting. With the pears. Nice and pristine. Here. Thank you very much. They're still going. Yeah, because the it's hot. Voila. Perfetto. I'll, I've got my... Let's take this out. A little bit of flour of the sage. So Luigi now can come here, maybe. It's time, Sarah. Dai. You have to try, vado. Si, black pepper and the salt. Le vedi qui, Luigi? Can you see it? Very good. Allora, Bye. I'm ready. You have a fork next to you? Yes, I do. There you go. I'm just chopping a little bit for you. <gasps> Thank you. There you go, darling. Some pear. Zach. Tieni. Provalo col vino. Tell me what you think with the wine. Okay. I'm giving it a go. A bonus. Mmm. Mmm. What the heck? No, it's perfect. Really. For real. Mmm. You know how to cook. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a doubt. So the pear is beautiful looking, mm -hmm. See? but fruit and wine is a disaster. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so what happens? I love this dish. I wouldn't touch it's it. It's better without pear. Think eh? about this. Not everything has always like, the, the, the fruit is too sweet, it's mm. too juicy, and it makes the marone become too dry, too amaro, mm. as a matter of fact. So, kudos for the dish. I love how you just impromptu had this like twist of saying, you know what, we're Thank gonna you. make little bistecchine, like a tagliata, a duck tagliata, si. with pears. It but is. next time, my suggestion, if you're gonna do this once again, uh -huh. are we gonna do this once again? Of course. Prunes. Ah, yes. Black cherries. Uh, you know, let's stay black, dark, uh, dark fruit with this great wine. Sara, vero. grazie mille. Grazie, Filippo. Thank you for following. I'll see you later. We'll see you later. Yes, of course.